Hello SFDC folks. I hope everyone is doing good. So today we are going to discuss about single sign-on setup in Salesforce. Single sign-on setup or we can say SSO setup. That is instead of logging into Salesforce with your username and password, you can use the third party system or the external system to authenticate yourself and then log in into Salesforce. This is just to enhance the security. So we'll begin step by step. First of all, I'm in my Salesforce org. First, I will log out and show you what all other options I get to log in into my system. That's Salesforce or so now you can see that only the option I get is to log in with my username and password and there is no third option that I can use. We'll build that. So for this demo purpose, we'll be using the external system as Axiom. Axiom is one of the very useful external system for testing your SSO setup. But in real time, you can use Azure, Okta, and even Microsoft 365 or Facebook as well. You can use the credentials of those systems to log in and redirect yourself into Salesforce. For that, we have to do this setup. So let me show you how you can access Axiom. Just type Axiom SSO in Google Chrome and then open this website. From here, we'll get all the information that we need to set up. Let's go back to our Salesforce org and in the search find box, search for single sign on. Here it is. So we'll be creating one new single sign on setting. Before that, make sure this SAML is enabled. This is very important. If it is not enabled, just click on edit and then check this box. Once it is enabled, then you create the first SSO. We'll name it as, let's say, Axio. And issuer name, we can name it anything as per our choice. But this will be used when we will configure this from the Axiom end as well. And yeah, so before filling all these details, we have to get some of the details from our Axiom site. So go to your Axiom homepage. Click on SAML Identity Provider and Tester. First of all, download the Identity Provider Certificate. This is the certificate of the Axiom. And under Generate, click on this link, Generate a SAML Response. Here we'll get the additional details like the SSO Start Page, Identity Provider URL and all sorts of things like that. Okay, we have downloaded the Identity Provider Certificate that we will use here. In our single sign on setup page, click on choose file and downloads. Use this is the certificate that we just downloaded. Open it and it has been captured. The other things that we need to fill is entity ID. This is nothing but just to synchronize your third party system with Salesforce, or there should be a URL that will be mentioned in both the systems. So we can just take the same one which is mentioned here, entity ID, but make sure this is same as what you put in the uh, Salesforce org as well as it what it is used in the SAML, that is Axiom. We place it over and this is not exactly mandatory that the entity ID will be same as whatever I have put. I can make it as anything. I can make it as login.salesforce.com. But yeah, make sure you use the same identity ID in your Axiom as well. It should not be different, but URL can be anything. I hope that's clear. Then we move forward. SAML identity type. What type of uh, SAML identity you want to pass from the third party system? Either it is a Salesforce a user's username or the federation ID or the user's ID. So usually it is recommended to use federation id but for now we can also use the username as well so which user wants to log in through axiom third party that that person's username should be passed if you see there in the axiom here it is asking for username or federation id so we'll use username as our identity type then saml identity location this needs, uh, I mean, whatever you are passing the identity of the user where it needs to be passed as a subject or inside, wrapped inside an attribute. 
so if you select in attribute then it will ask for other additional information like attribute name and all but let's keep it as straightforward this is the next very important thing that is identity provider login url so once i choose to login into salesforce using my third party i need to provide the login url of the third party that you will also get from here under sso start page this is nothing but the login url of my identity provider paste it over here this is done this is the only thing we have to fill and complete to create a single sign on setting inside salesforce so let's save this okay it is now complete so in order to use this particular sso to log in into my org i have to go to my my domain page here and under authentication configuration click on edit button so what all options you want to give user to log in into salesforce the default option that we have seen already is the login form where it asks for username and password now we want to provide him an additional option to log in that is axiom let's save this okay and before we test this let's take a note of the username which we want to log in go to the users page and this is my user i believe system admin if this is the and the username is this okay i will now log out of salesforce org and now you see i have now the other option to log in which is login with axiom instead of login with my salesforce credentials i will choose axiom as my identity provider let me click on it and it will take me to this page where i will provide my username and issuer as i said issuer should be same as whatever we have put in inside the single site on setup page it was axiom idp and a recipient url is my org's domain you see this is my org's domain and this is my org id so once i am authenticated from axiom it will redirect me to this page this my domain url page and as i said entity id should be same as whatever we have put in the single sign on setup so i remember i put this login.salesforce.com that was this entity id it should be exactly the same and all the other things i think are put to go let me click on request sample response and then click on login here it is see from axiom i am now logged in into my salesforce org if i go to single sign on setup and open axiom once again so see this is the issuer name and this is the entity id that i have to give to the axiom portal as well and i got logged in into this particular org this is the recipient url the my domain url appended with my org id so this is where it will redirect me after getting successfully authenticated 